Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham back again with another video. We have another new arrival. It's a 2024 BMW M2 in Alpine white. All right, so this is the 2024 BMW M2 in Alpine white. So this is one of the two no charge paint choices. You've got Alpine, Alpine white and you've got Zanvoort blue. Now, originally, I liked Alpine White more than I liked Zanvoort Blue, but now I think I actually like Zanvoort Blue more than I like Alpine White, but only by just a small margin. Like, it's not like I'm saying this color is bad, that color is good. They're both good, but uh, the Zanvoort has started to grow on me. I see it kind of as the modern day Yasmarina Blue, which it kind of is. But now that we've walked all the way around the car, Let's take a look at all the details. So we've got Alpine White here. There is the power dome of the 2 Series. It's kind of subtle with the lighting in here on white, but once we come all the way down, like from this view you can see, like look at how the curvature of these front fenders sticking out here like that. And we've got the BMW LED headlights here. So these are the non-shadow line, that's why we've got this chrome strip inside of here. But uh, unlike the 2 Series one, we don't have that gold accent running through here. So the, the headlight is slightly different than the non-shadow line adaptive LED headlight that I've got in my 2 Series. Now, we've got the vertical slats on the, the grill here, M2 badging. And it's kind of interesting how it kind of goes from here all the way through. Now I have started to see some of these aftermarket grills and I will say that uh, the one from Adro, the carbon fiber vertical slot one, I think looks amazing. So I hope somebody puts that on their car. I did see a car from SEMA that had it on there and it looked absolutely nuts. And we've also got the square intakes down here at the bottom. So I'm just trying to, uh, you know what? Let me just lock the car so we can get the lights to turn off. There we go. So now you can actually see down here, there's like a vertical slot, sorry, a horizontal slot going across. I have seen some diagonal ones that people are selling aftermarket. And uh, I like this car without the radar in the center, to be honest. But overall, front end of this car, very menacing and if you see this coming up behind you in your rearview mirror you may be uh, tempted to move out of the way now when we come around to the sides what do we have here we've got the 19 inch front 20 inch rear double spoke 930 m wheels in uh, this is jet black burnished with the blue m compound brake here and we do have the michelin pilot sport for us on here as well looking extra sticky 275 front, 285 on the rear, and just love the side profile of this vehicle. Like, look at that rear quarter. Isn't that ridiculous? Now, I'm just going to unlock the car once again so we can get the uh, side mirrors to retract. And uh, yeah, the, the M wing mirror in white does look really nice here. Windows were tinted, I believe. That looks more than 35% to my eye, but. Uh, might be even 25 or 20. So this one, we have no carbon fiber roof, no sunroof, just uh, what they'd call a slick top. We've got that new style antenna there. And because this is the white car with the really black tinted windows, I just wanted to show off that side profile because it looks really nice. We have body colored spoiler here. So Alpine white on Alpine white. And when we come to the back here, let me just hit unlock again. So we've got those iconic G chassis, two series coupe tail lights. We've got the vertical reflectors on each side. Quad exhaust down here looking amazing. And that rear diffuser. And of course that's the little spot here for the tow hook on the rear. We've got the Rondal M2 badging. And we've got the camera just above where the license plate goes. Now, 2 Series, whether it's an M or not, does not get any type of power tailgate whatsoever. Which, to some, oh, what a bummer. But to me, I actually like it way more. Uh, it's just faster for me. I just, I think it's better. <laughs> but 
We have the carpeted mats inside of here. We have a emergency release here. And I just want to show you uh, if we get this little panel off, it's just fuses back there in case anybody was wondering. And uh, let me just go ahead and stick that back in. This side, we have grocery bag hanger here, front plate bracket, tire inflator kit, and uh, you'd also have your wheel lock key and tow hook in there as well on the other side. So, yep, I see it there, wheel lock key. I don't feel the tow hook, we'll probably have to find one to put in there. And when you're done with everything back here, I like that this trunk is fully manual, so you just grab a handle on each side and you send it down so you don't have to touch the exterior of the vehicle. Now let's just take a quick top look at that rear quarter where the gas tank is. That is just so fat. <laughs> if I press on nine o'clock, the door will open to reveal that we're looking for 93 octane and we're looking for shell V power. So it's counterclockwise one click. There's a little spot here to put this. When you're done, it's just clockwise one click. That's a little spot in other markets other than Canada where they still have the diesel vehicles. So that would be where they would put the urea solution to clean the NOx emissions out of the catalytic converter, but that's not happening here. Now this car does have touch comfort access on both handles, which is awesome. We have no frames around the door because it's a coupe. We've got the M illuminated highlighters. There's iDrive 8 starting up there and there's that beautiful Alpine white M2 spinning on the display. One of my favorite parts about uh, M cars and iDrive 8. And so I put on the Flamingo ambient lighting in here just so you can see where it is since it's a little bit darker now um, because the 2 Series does not have this ambient lighting but the M2 does on the door. This does illuminate but there is a little bit of light in the actual handle. Uh, we've got Harman Kardon sound system. We have aluminum M2 door sill. We've got power seat controls here with lumbar and side bolster. And we've got those beautiful Vernosca leather uh, sports seats with the illuminated M2 on the headrest. I think that looks awesome, but more awesome is the M tri-colors on the actual seat. So that's the M highlighter option. I think these seats look so good because of that. And of course, glove box which is illuminated. We have piano black trim inside of here. So wear some white gloves in here. <laughs> Open that up. So we have a communication pad for digital key. We have a USB type A cup holders, 12 volt plug, beautiful M shifter. So this one is the ZF eight speed transmission. And we've got the red push start button. We've got your M mode set up, uh, exhaust flat button inside of here illuminated and USB type C. We do have the universal garage door opener on the bottom of the rear view mirror and of course black uh, headliner inside of here and because we're on this side and it's a two door let me just put that seat forward so we can get some space to go look into the rear here. So on the back of the center console we've got some vents, vents underneath the front seats as well. We've got M color seat belts, love that. And we've got the same kind of triangular pattern in the door here as we saw on the G42 uh, 2 Series. And in the back here, two seating positions, a little storage tray thing in the center, and the center comes down, but there's no armrest in the back of the M2. And we've got some reading lights up top with some ambient lighting there as well. And when we put the seat back into the recline position, it will return back to where it was. Why don't we go ahead now and open the door on the other side. All right, let's open the door from the driver's side. So once we've got that open, we can see we've got Harman Kardon over here. We have your memory buttons over here. We have your M illuminated highlighters. We have your side mirror controls and window controls. We have a pop there for your tailgate, some pocket area, little cup holder, or bottle holder in the door. M2 door sill down here, full power seat with lumbar and side bolster. I love that the headrest is also power up and down. That's the only way you'll get that type of option in a 2 Series. And we've got the lovely M steering wheel with M tri-color color stitching here as well, which looks real fancy. We've got the red M1, M2 config buttons, and we've got the paddle shifters on each side so you can manually take control of the gears. 
We also have the head-up display here and this one does also have the automatic parking feature so when I press the park assist view um, I can turn on the backup camera here as well so we've got automatic parking we've also got that backup assistant that remembers 50 meters how you went forward and will go back the exact same way and up top on the visors when you open the visor the light turns on here same thing for both sides and why don't we go ahead now and pull this thing down here twice one two and let's take a look at what powers this beast you already know so there it is behold the s58 three liter inline six twin turbo this is with 453 horsepower 406 foot-pounds of torque we've got that beautiful triangular brace here positive battery terminal negative battery terminal washer fluid over here this is the modern day 2jz and i actually have heard rumors that the supra will be getting the s58 in a future update which is not fair but hey uh, <laughs> i can't be mad at toyota for wanting to use this motor and uh, also, with this engine, I know that uh, you know that BMW underrates our power figures as well as our uh, 0 to 100 times. So I believe we advertise this can do 0 to 100 in like 4.1 seconds or something like that. Uh, my M240i can consistently do 3.8 seconds. So I think this is going to be in the 3.6 or 3.7 range, maybe even a little bit lower. I uh, haven't had a chance to test it myself, unfortunately, so if you've got an M2 and you want me to test out some 0 to 100 times for you, I'd gladly do it, but uh, I love this platform. I love the new M2. I know that there's a lot of complaints about it, and people will say F-Body was so much better, blah, 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 but in reality, to be able to get this car in this day and age with a manual transmission and a rear-wheel drive, that's that's all the right check marks for me and since we're uh, gonna do another little lap all the way around the car let me just get the headlights back on here for you and the tail lights but uh, overall I really like the Alpine white M2 I think I would choose Zandvoort over Alpine white between the two free color choices but they're both good, I would take either, I think, really. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below, what order do you like M2 colors in? So for me, I would say Toronto Red, followed by Black Sapphire, followed by Zanvoort, followed by Alpine White, followed by Brooklyn Gray. And sorry if you're a Brooklyn Gray driver, it's not to say I don't like the color, it's just that order I like the colors in. I like them all. So one thing to keep in mind, and I only have considered this because if I was to get an M2, I'd likely get the uh, manual transmission. Uh, if you get the manual transmission, you'll lose this, not the key, the ability to do this with the key, which is remote engine start. So I've been spoiled by having a remote engine start on the G42. If I ever got an M2, how much would I miss it if I got a manual? All right, everyone. So that was my tour of this beautiful 2024 BMW M2 in Alpine white with the black Vernasca leather inside. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this spec. Uh, let me know what you think about no sunroof, no carbon fiber roof. And uh, we got pricing information for this vehicle in the description below. If you like the car, if you like the video, if you like me, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Give me a five-star Google review on BMW Durham's Google page. It really helps the channel out. Um, other than that, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.